let's start with something in, in, in the fun side of a basketball, uh, team basketball in general. Uh, what do you guys feel like some uh, the teams that are, you know, there's a lot of teams that are playing well right now in terms of Golden State, Clippers, uh, Cavaliers as usual. What do you think uh, some of the teams that are underperforming in terms of the roster or like the expectations that they had this year and they're not really meeting that right now? What do you feel like some of the teams that are? Huh, I like uh, New York. New well, York. For the roster that they had. Like, the roster that gonna... they have, all the hype that they had, yeah. Derrick Rose will rise again. Like all these, you know, these names in New Jersey's, right? Yeah. So I, I really think that New York should be performing better, but you know, things happen. And, and everyone else got pretty, everyone else improved as well. So I'm not sure what's happening with them. There's, it's still a long season. So um, I'm going to say New York. So what do you think? Uh, I believe uh, right now it's um, Memphis Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. um, actually, they, they started pretty slow. Now, you know, they're starting to uh, pick it up. And um, another thing, um, another team, in my opinion, uh, that's underperforming is uh, probably uh, Sacramento Kings. Mm. I believe they got the pieces. Um, they got DeMarcus Cousins. And, uh, they have you know, the right talent. If right. You really think yeah, about Rudy Gay and uh, other uh, role players. So, uh, I mean, down the line, hopefully they can make the playoffs. They, oh. they have the right pieces in terms of having a great center, uh, a great uh, forward with Rudy Gay. And they have all the other small pieces to, to actually make you know, a good team. And just in terms of personnel, I don't feel like it's the right fit. I don't think they have the right leader in terms of uh, they have a good coach with Dave Yeager, right? So what do you what do you think? You brought up the question. So what do you think is the most underrated, underrated, underperforming? Team. Sorry, team. Uh, I, I have to give it out to to uh, the Washington Wizards. I think at this point, um, they've had a long years in terms of having that same built of team with Martin Gortat, with uh, John Wall and Bradley Beal, that old reporter kind of starting. And I don't feel like at this point it's working out for them. Not, you know, maybe it's because of the chemistry, or maybe it's been the injury of a John Wall, Otto Porter, and Bradley Beal. It's been pretty injury prone, and I just feel like you know at this point it's uh, by uh, February if it still doesn't work out, I think they should make some changes or just really um, divide the team up in terms of build a new chemistry or build a new personnel because I don't they've been doing this for a lot, quite a few years and they haven't made the playoffs really and mm -hmm. made that kind of run so. mm -hmm. and you talked about underperforming um, let's talk about or under sorry you talk about personnel yeah. and you said what are th what are the un most underrated players in I the, wanted to in get into season? exactly exactly yeah, yeah. I and mean, I feel like there's a lot of uh, teams a lot of players out there in the NBA that are getting a lot of hype with Steph and James Harden and Westbrook, they're getting all this hype because of just how well the they're West playing. The West Beast, sorry, I just had to say that. <laughs> the West Beast. They're just so good right now, but I feel like there's also a lot of players right there that are playing really well, but are just not getting enough media love just because of how great this other, uh, a lot of other uh, superstars are playing. So how do you feel so far about the, the players that should be recognized or just giving that love to them because they're playing well too. They're just not getting enough of it from a lot of fans and media. Well, funny, funny you say that. Well, last week we talked to Owen, and he was, and he's not, he was not recognized. Was, no one knows him yet. So, in terms of who I think that no one knows right now, is Giannis, the Greek freak. Man's on my fantasy team. He's giving me crazy numbers, and his wingspan is what's his wingspan? You know, you know it better than me. It's longer than Shaq's. <laughs> That's all right. I know. This guy's putting up um, like crazy points, crazy, crazy stats. And yet the media still hasn't written a headline about him. They're still focused on, okay, obviously Clay went off. Okay, I, I accept that. Westbrook. But still, Giannis deserves some love. What do you think? Who, who's your under? under um, like I talked about earlier, um, Memphis Grizzlies were you know, underperforming earlier. But then uh, Marc Gasol is uh, one of the guys that has stepped it up. You know, he's hit some clutch shots. And um, I mean, it was a, a funny uh, sequence where uh, Hit a, I believe, uh, was it a game-winning shot or uh, yeah, game-winning, you know, game, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, that tie, you know, tie, uh, you know, um, shot or give me a uh, shot, whatever. a three-point yeah, shot. Yeah, and uh, I did the um, Vince McMahon or McGregor. You can't explain. Uh, he, made, dance he did something or whatever like. It is. Wait, Mark, <laughs> see, what, what is it? Let me see. It. What, what is it? <laughs> Gonna be a swing of his hand like this, yeah. and his hand was kind of like this. I can't explain it. Hey, as long, it's, hey, if you're making the game-winning <laughs> shot, you're allowed to do that kind of dance. Yeah. So.